All right, solving this problem, I'm going to take the inverse sine of both sides. So I get theta over 2 is equal to our tangent of root 3. Tangent of root 3 there. So it's going to be quadrant 1, so it's going to be pi over 3. Because this is our opposite over adjacent. So theta over 2 is equal to pi over 3 times 2 times 2. Uh, theta is equal to 2 pi over 3, meaning the half angle of 2 pi over 3 is pi over 3, and that's how we get root 3. This is still only the half angle. And where else do we get root 3 from? Um, so, the only other spot where I'm going to get um, something similar is down at 240 degrees, which is uh, negative root 3 over negative 1 which is 4 pi over 3 so you just double that so it's 8 pi over 3 and that's valid even though this is greater than 2 uh, two pi it's valid because we have the half angle there alright that's it those are the solutions hope that helps